today. It's just really kind of one story. It is mounting pressure on Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon to just improve all the things, performance, morale, you name it. Joining us now is Bloomberg's uh, Shanae Basic. If you wanted to get deep into Wall Street uh, beat, you got to look at all the stuff over the weekend. Let's start with that New York Magazine article. Yeah, we do have to get into that New York Magazine article because it didn't just look at Goldman's performance. It looked into all of the issues that we've seen in drips and drabs, the leaks about morale, people leaving, partners departing, and the the tensions between David Solomon and his staff. Now, uh, the headline indeed called David Solomon a jerk and had said, you know, can you be running this firm with that kind of a personality? Now, something interesting in defense of David Solomon as well, performance was really good the first couple of years. It was only the last two of the three quarters here that you have seen performance start to lag more significantly. And there are big questions about what it means for Goldman to be losing so much staff. Now, in this article, Alex, there was another issue that was brought up, and that was over at David Solomon's alma mater. This is Hamilton College. Remember, after the bank's investor day, where, according to the article, I was there myself as well, he had appeared disheveled. He had also, in an uh, encounter with these Hamilton College students, was accused of attitude and behavior that was uh, accusedly extremely racist with sexist undertones. And his blatant is ignorance and disrespect is one that they felt obligated to share with the campus community. Now, this incident in particular that the Hamilton students are talking about was an almost 30-minute discussion they had with him about uh, climate and the endowments investment policies and how he thinks about it and also this idea of how the endowment is funded based on some investments that may require uh, the relationship to the fossil fuel industry now he had also said that you know financial aid is funded on a lot of this and most of Hamilton students rely on that kind of financial aid so it's a complicated encounter but certainly very scathing. Goldman itself had responded as well and said that he did not and would not say things to offend the students and that they strongly dispute these claims. So among the revelations in this story, uh, this was certainly one of the newer ones uh, that we had seen in terms of his tensions with not only the bank but outside stakeholders. Shinoli, how sustainable is all of this? Um, Alex was joking with you a few days back and we all thought it was a joke. Is Lloyd Blankfein coming back? I, people are now talking about that. <laughs> Is, how, how significant should it be that people are talking about this? Have we reached a milestone that people are actively talking about this? Not just Alex, others. It's a good question. We had a New York Times story over the weekend also discussing a conversation between Lloyd Blankfein offering to play some sort of role in the recovery of the morale here. And what it came down to was David Solomon politely rejecting the offer. But what Lloyd's frustration was was a $50 million essential paper write down on the stock. As we know, the Goldman this year has not performed as well as it had last year. And so there is pressure to turn things around.